A trailer asking us to enter the world of Slanesh has arrived, but before we talk about it, let's watch it. To me. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Pleasure beyond imagining awaits you. Desire. Pride. Pain. Access in all things. Partake of perfection. Give yourself to the Dark Prince. Feast on the delights of this world! Submit to Slamish! Well, that was both terrifying and arousing. And before we go any further, I just want to point out this one part of the trailer that gets me every time. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. In the words of the immortal bard Shakira, those hips don't lie. That is one serious ass sachet. I could watch that demon walk all day. And really, the animations and skinning for the Slaneshi faction are so superb here that they really need to be talked about. It's one thing to have these big grotesque monsters moving around a battlefield, but having fluid, human-esque movement is just so difficult to do correctly. Look at the way those heads just bob in a row, keeping that perfect levelness, almost like a sinewy snake on two legs just running around. That is not easy. All right, but enough gushing. Today we're talking about Slanesh, the youngest of the Chaos Gods, who is dedicated to the pursuit of excess, gratification, hedonism, pain, and the immoral pleasures at the expense of your soul. Because as the youngest Chaos God, Slanesh knows it's what all the cool kids are doing. As usual, all this information is taken from the official Total War blog. For a playstyle, the Slaneshi faction will use their unparalleled speed and armor-piercing capabilities. Slaneshi demons look to sow discontent among the enemy ranks through hit-and-run tactics before isolating units and dealing a quick final blow job. <laughs> For isolating units and then finishing them off with quick efficiency. God, there's so many just puns in this of just sexual innuendo. The endless this is the faction of endless sexual innuendo. Their armies gain battle currency by killing routing units, which can be used on three abilities, which then accentuate their playstyle. Meaning they have mid-battle mechanics like Ogre Kingdoms and I think pretty much every faction in Warhammer 3 seems to have that ability now, uh, like the Tomb Kings had in Warhammer 2. Slanesh's roster is the embodiment of their patron god. The demons of Slanesh are vicious, gracious, and beguiling. Commanding their sinister armies are the imperious Keepers of Secrets and the Herald of Slanesh. While the core of their army is formed around cunning and deadly units such as daemonets and fiends, leaving their agile heartseekers and hellstriders to provide lightning-quick cavalry support. They'll be led into battle by Nakari, the Arch Tempter, who scours the immortal and mortal realms to experience the ultimate <laughs> sensation and taste ecstasy in its purest form, apparently by whipping himself and others. Okay. On the battlefield, Nakari is an extremely fast and vicious exalted demon that excels at hunting isolated enemy characters and units. His unique passive ability, the Harvester of Souls, heals him whenever an enemy unit has been fully killed nearby, whilst his Willing Prey ability significantly reduces enemy defense and attack, leaving them vulnerable to a quick and agonizing death. Phrasing. <laughs> Lots of phrasing in that paragraph. <laughs> Today's blog also revealed their campaign map playstyle, where Slanesh strives to spread the Dark Prince's hedonistic message at every turn. Their mechanics include the gifts of Slanesh. Lords and heroes of Slanesh can impart gifts, with air quotes on each side, on enemy characters by defeating them in battle or through hero actions. <laughs> How do they give them the gift after battle? Oh my god, I can't. This is too much. <laughs> Thus imposing a bundle of negative effects on the units, like Comidia. <laughs> 
seduction. By increasing seductive influence, the forces of Slanesh can forcibly vassalize a target. <laughs> it's a domination mechanic. I should have read this before I started recording. I can't. <laughs> Devotees, devotees, devotees. Slaneshi armies can capture devotees from battle, from chaos cults, and from pleasurable acts. Devotees are used for creating cults, the raising of disciple armies, and create and to create vassals. Uh, I am giggling like a 13 year old boy right now. I cannot take this faction seriously. Like, I know I'm supposed to. I know you guys are tuning in right now to be like, oh man, let's learn more about the chaos gods. It's a, it's a domination faction where they all run around wearing leather thigh highs. That is a walking penis snake with four legs. You cannot tell me otherwise. Who plays this and doesn't play it ironically? <laughs> if you're a Slanesh player, please go into the comments below and expl explain to me <laughs> what is the attraction here? What, what is it that makes you say, yes, I will dedicate my life to Slanesh? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, jokes aside, I mean, they seem to be a pretty cool army faction. I mean, clearly based on high aggression, high damage, high speed. So if you like that sort of thing, this is the chaos god for you. And also bondage mechanics. <laughs> I can't. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a happy holidays. Make sure that uh, Slanesh doesn't stuff your stocking. Otherwise, you're going to need a round of penicillin afterwards. <laughs> we'll be back next week with the uh, Slaneshi Faction roster reveal. And uh, hopefully by then I'll have worked my giggles out. 